Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Prospective Crop Tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, the Prospective Crop Tool let you transform the perspective in an image while you are cropping. Use the Prospective Crop Tool when you are working with images that contain a keystone distortion. Now keystone distortion occur when an object is photographed from an angle rather than from a straight on a view. For example, here is an image. Okay, If you take a picture of a tall building from a ground level, the edges of the building appear closer to each other at the top than they do at the bottom. So let's see how the prospective crop tool can fix this kind of problem. And also we are going to see some example where we are going to use a prospective crop tool on this book cover where just we are going to crop this book front part. Same in this view how we can use a prospective crop tool in this kind of footage. So friends you can find a prospective crop tool in a toolbar. Okay, these are just nested in behind a standard crop tool which we already learned in our previous video. Now to get it just a long press on this crop tool and you can see there is a four crop tool. There is a prospective crop tool, crop tool, slice tool and a slice select tool. By pressing C you can activate this crop tool. For example you are in move tool. If you want to activate a crop tool just press C. But by default it will be selected the previous selection. For example, right now I am using this crop tool. Okay. And if I am and if I am using a shortcut C, then it will be automatically select this crop tool. If I want to prospect to crop tool, then just press shift plus C. And as you can see, now I am in prospect to crop tool. Like this, you can switch from one crop tool to another crop tool, like this. So friends, right now I am in prospective crop tool. So friends, now we are going to this building footage where we are going to crop this prospectively. So friends, now our next step is to draw a crop border around the image. Now unlike a Photoshop crop tool that we are already learned in our previous video, it's not automatically place a cropping border around the image. As you can see, after selecting a prospective crop tool, there is a no border around this image. So the first thing we need to do is draw one border around the image. To do that, click on a top left corner of the photo over here, this corner. Okay, with my mouse button held down and drag downwards to the bottom right corner till here. Okay, now you can notice that a grid also appear inside a crop border. This is a perspective grid and it's allow us to fix our perspective problem. Now, if you not see this grid, make sure you have to show grid option selected in a option bar along the top of the screen over here. If this option is disabled, then you can't see this grid. So make sure this option is enabled so that you can easily crop this footage. Now friends, we are going to adjust this angle. From here just click and you can adjust like this as you can see I know that this is my building view okay I am just adjusting this fine now to commit this crop you can select over here to commit or if you don't want then you can select this for cancel the current crop operation. So my operation is done. I'm just commit this so you can use this button. Also, you can double click on the image or you can press enter from your keyboard. I'm just pressing this and as you can see our crop is done. Now another way to do this instead of selecting this border you can also mark that four points just selective this perspective mark crop tool and from here i am starting my point click here and as you can see here here and here and my crop is done so like this also you can do the perspective crop tool and just press enter or you can also press over here I'm just pressing enter and as you can see our perspective crop tool make this image proper so friends like this you can use a perspective crop tool 
to crop a any image prospectively so friends our next example is this book cover okay so like our second trick we are going to do a prospective crop tool on this image okay so first i am selecting this prospective crop tool okay now i am just zoom so that i can select a proper mark just select this press shift so you can get this hand tool to move this footage like this okay now i am selecting here and now like i'm selecting here and my selection is done just double click over here and as you can see our crop tool is done but as you can see now my book cover will be scale so what we are going to do i'm just unlock this and first of all i'm using this crop tool okay just little bit of this so that i'm just want to scale this okay now i am using a transform for that go to edit and from here you can see transform and select scale and just scale it by pressing shift okay and press enter so as you can see our book cover is done so like this you can use a prospective crop tool to do a very creative things now friends we are going to see our last example where we are going to use a prospective crop tool on this book and also we are going to learn some property of this prospective crop tool so friends first i am just copying this footage just duplicating this footage so that i am showing you before and after footage i am just make it off okay and working on this activate footage so friends as i am showing you there are two ways to use a prospective crop tool first is just mark the border around this image okay like this and after that you will just move this point like this and press enter as you can see our book cover is cropped this is a first method and second method is just select a prospective crop tool and you can assign this four mark like this okay and press enter so the two ways you can do a prospective crop tool now friends as you can see there are some property first property is width and height now you need to crop your photo but there is a problem it must retain a specific size now the option bar allow you to specify the size prior to the cropping in the past you may have found yourself destroying your project by adjusting the image size and after you had already cropped your photo now prospective crop let you to do this at once so you can also apply what size you want after cropping okay for example i want 1080 by 920 so as you can see after selecting this if i am selecting this book cover and it will be automatically come into this size now if i want a more width then what i am doing i am just increasing the width size to 1500 okay and now you can see so according to your requirement you can change this size See now you can get the exact size of your book cover. So like this you can apply a width and height on the top of this option bar. Now friends our next property is resolution. Set the resolution from a cropped image. Okay? It will help you to ensure that your newly edited photo remain crisp and clear and not a blurry. So friends our next property is this grid now this is a, an optional okay it's not necessary you all time have to open it so grid line are helpful in guiding you as you change a perspective or a stretch your photo of course photoshop know that not everyone wants or need the grid so this is a tool is optional removing the grid give you a clearer view of your image while you are working so you can enable or disable as your requirement so friends this is all about a prospective crop tool in adobe photoshop in our next video we are going to learn slice tool in adobe photoshop 
थैंक यू सो मच गाइज सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो